Hello, my name is Stephanie Corey and I am running for mayor of Fall River. On a recent train trip coming back to Providence from New York City, I sat next to a woman with a very unusual ring on the middle finger of her left hand. When I commented on it, she said it was her wedding ring. I asked, why do you have it on the wrong finger? Replied the woman, I married the wrong guy. Given the disappointing results that we've all been experiencing in the city lately, it's fair to ask, are we married to the wrong guy? Are we wedded to the wrong strategy? I believe so. This political race is not a contest among persons. We all have our talents and abilities. We each want what is best for the city. What sets us apart from one another is our priorities, our vision, and our strategies for success. What I hear when I meet with people in Fall River and really listen to their stories is an immense frustration at Fall River City Government's failure to do what they say they're going to do when they say they're going to do it. All politics is local, and the local talk on the street is that they've been let down by politicians who promise that the city will become a community where their children want to stay after they graduate and raise their families here. I have a reputation for being critical because I speak out on what I see as bad policy for the people of Fall River. I know how political everything has become from zoning, economic development, hiring practices, enforcement of ordinances, and even the ability of residents to support candidates of their choice without fear of retribution by whatever administration is currently in office. We deserve better. I think that it's high time that we started getting things right. The current mayor was elected because he promised a smaller legal team, more jobs, transparency in government, improvement in the education system, and an end to the rainwater tax. Instead, we got a 30% increase in the Corporation Council's budget, a high unemployment rate, a gag order, pay raises for management in the school system, and no movement at all on the legality of the rainwater tax. It's time to repurpose the Fall River Office of Economic Development and focus on small business owners, the backbone of Fall River and the nation's economy, and help them to expand, grow, and create jobs, which in turn will help the city. The Small Business Administration estimates that 80% of all new jobs are created by small businesses. It's time to build our way out of our recession, one, two, three, four jobs at a time. Fall River, we can expect better. It's time to incorporate quality of life into our economic development goals. Bike paths and walking trails are economic development. Neighborhood revitalization is economic development. Holding the owners of blighted properties and absentee landlords accountable is economic development. Education is economic development. It's time to create a community where people who are educated here stay here. And it's time we hired people for what they know and not who they know. It's time to implement the master plan and not allow it to become just another expensive study paid for by the taxpayers that ends up gathering dust on some shelf. It's time to act on the future instead of continually lighting needless fires that must be put out so we can say we save the day. To do all this requires a leader with vision, integrity, and one who can implement that vision. That's what Providence did, and we can do the same in Fall River. Are we further ahead now than two years ago? Are the streets cleaner? Are the potholes filled on your street? Has the crime rate gone down? Have we come out of our double-digit unemployment? Has your quality of life improved? Do you feel safer? It's time for Fall River to elect a mayor with the political will to lead, the strength of character to govern by a set of ethical principles, and the common sense to hire people who are experts at what they do so we can accomplish great things. It's time. And that's why I'm running for mayor, because I am that person. Expect better, Fall River. Thank you.